Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In the description, I've got a link there for you to episode one because this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day. So if you want to know how this shave began, click on that. All right, now we're continuing on with my Magnetic Silver Steel. This is just a beautiful razor out of the early 1930s. And it is a full hollow, maybe even extra hollow, really, really nice razor. I really enjoy this one. And for our soap tonight, La Thalemon. And this is just a wonderful citrusy kind of thing going on. I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, maybe even find, if you guys have any suggestions for lime scented soaps or creams, put them in the uh, description there for me. All right. And for our brush tonight, my Omega 10003, and it is loaded. Now, also in the description, I will have full description of the soap and all of its ingredients along with the scent profile as well. And you will find many, many more links in the description for helps to straight razor shaving guys. All right, so if you're interested in straight razor shaving, I got a bunch of links in the description there for you. And you can walk through them all, check it out, see what you think. And I do Friday specials on the first third Friday of every month, which means all your comments, questions, and ideas for Friday specials, just put them in the comments there for me. And then what I'll do is uh, I always go through that. I always answer all your comments. And then uh, if you have questions, ideas for a Friday special, or uh, just even comments, sometimes I go ahead and do videos on those as well. So, you know, just put those in there and you can be part of this channel because this channel is all about you guys. All right, there we go. Now, this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means this is the second pass, and that's going to be cross the grain on my neck, against the grain on my cheek here, and right in through here. That's against the grain as well. So let's get going. Really enjoy the audio feedback on this one. There we go, nice. 
get that razor cleaned off. We're going to switch hands, do this other side. Okay, now switching up that handle. All right, and when you're doing this, weight of the blade only, guys. You know, if you're going to be doing this, just the weight of the blade, and that will be good enough. That blade needs to be sharp enough. You don't have to press it. It'll do the work for you. Nice. Wonderful. Wonderful shave. All right. Oh, looks like I may have got myself a little bit there. A little bump. No big deal. All right. Now let's get that one and that one where we know where they are. There we go. Nice. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay. Almost there.
There we go. Done. Pass two complete. Nice. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's really good. Those cheeks are right where we want them. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Next is the half pass. So that is going to be my jawline and my neck. Primarily, we're going to be going against the grain. Okay. And now, this is just how I've found to be able to do this that works for me. Because the way my beard grows, this is the ticket. Now, you guys out there, it's individual, okay? So, however works best for you, just experiment and find that right angle, okay? Now, get the blade at the right angle and you will be able to get a great shave. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, sweet. Really good shave. Going well tonight. Switching hands. Oh, yes. Very good. And the chin can be uh, the hardest to do. Now, I know I go over my chin quite a bit. Um, you don't have to do that. Just hit it once. That would be good enough most of the time. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Let's see how we did. Get this washed off. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, now that's nice. Very nice. Yes, it is. Wow. Now that's what I call good. Right there. Okay, alum everywhere. And then we're going to dry it off. You know, I just pat dry. I've already had a blade all over my face. Let's not irritate it any more than we need to. All right, and Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel for our aftershave tonight. This is good stuff. It really is. I enjoy the scent, the performance again, amazing. Wow. So lemony. And I just put that everywhere. It is fine. Does a good job. And fixes up that skin. It really is good. Now for our cologne. All right, Florida water. Good stuff. Now, a little bit of this goes a long ways, but it is amazing. Really is quite good. Nice. Excellent. And no shave would be complete for me without Nivea Poche Balm. This is just excellent. I really enjoy this and it does repair the skin quite nicely as well. All right, there you go. Hey, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one if you missed it, how this shave began. Click down here on a video especially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.